Hi everyone, welcome back to Dev Doge Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming Using Java. So continuing the topic about logical operators, in this case the AND logical operator, we saw that it's represented by two ampersands together. We also saw in a previous video that when we are working with strings, we should use not the equals equals sign, but we need to use the dot equals. That basically will get the value stored in memory for this variable and then compare with the value stored in memory for this one. So remember, equals can only be used uh, in this case when we are using strings. There is no possibility for you, for example, if you create a variable here, let's say uh, int number, and you give a number, you cannot call number dot equals. So this is something that we are going to learn in Java one for all. It's only possible for uh, types that are reference types, object types. Okay, but don't worry about that now. What it's important for you to remember is that this is like an ampersand, ampersand represent end operation, and this end operation is a short circuit, meaning if this is evaluated to false, everything else will be ignored by Java, and this will go straight to the else, to the other condition. Okay, so now we are going to see the other one, the or. We have end, I'm going to copy here, and I'm going to page three, and we are going to see how the or works. So, and it will require all the evaluations that we have here to be true, so we will have a true statement. Now, what about the OR? First, the OR operator is the pipe, so double pipes. And then we are going to see the same thing. But the difference here is that to be true, so if you have conditionals in one if statement and you have one condition with or, one or more with or, you just need one of them to be true, so the whole thing will be considered true. For example, here we have true if you have like two conditions or more. So if you have one that's true or the second one is true, it will be true. If you have one that's true or the other one is false, it will be, in this case, true. And if one is false but the other one is true, we have here true and it will only be false if everything is considered false so that's the difference between the end and the or the end to be true everything needs to be true the or to be true it just needs one or to be false you need everything to be false and since this is also a short circuit what does it mean it means that if java finds one statement that's true it will completely ignore the rest because you just need one of them to be true. You can have, for example, you can have true, 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 false. Once it sees, sees that the first one is true, it will not evaluate the rest because you just need one to be true, to be everything considered true. In this case, for the or, if you have, for example, here, uh, let's say you have false, 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 and one true, it means that this condition will be, in the end, evaluated to true. So, just remember um, the difference between AND and OR. AND, you need all of them to be true, so the result will be true, and OR, you just need one to be true, or you need all of them to be false. It depends how you are going to, to remember this. So, that's it for this video. In the next one, let's put this in practice and see how uh, it works. The example we are going to use is the following. Imagine that, for example, you want to buy a PS5. And you have a couple options. You can use credit card. You can use your debit card. You can finance. Or you can, uh, let's say, use your savings account. Savings account. Let's remove finance. To keep it simple basically the condition to buy a ps5 is that you have enough money in one of these so i want to buy a ps5 so if i have a credit card with credit or i have a debit card with value in my current uh, or uh, how the guys call the united states the checkings account or if in your saving savings account you you have one basically if one of these conditions is true you are going to buy the ps5 so let's do the, the exercise in the next video because it will be pretty straightforward. See you there. Bye-bye.